Hello. So, how how you doing? How how is your Friday doing? I hope yours is going great. Mine was actually oops, squeaky chair. Mine was actually pretty interesting. Um, I got to do an interview at my job, not like a job interview. I obviously already worked there, but we have a newsletter, and every month <clears throat> in the newsletter, uh, if someone's birthday is that month, my birthday is next month. Um, they interview you. The, not everyone, but you know, if you haven't been interviewed before or it's been a while since you've been interviewed, they'll interview you. And the way that works is uh, basically, my hand's already hurting, oh God. Um, basically, they ask you a set of questions and you know, have a fun conversation. It takes about an hour. It's really fun. I got to go in uh, on my off day because I don't work today because I have Fridays and Saturdays off. It's an awesome shift. And uh, I got to do this interview. It was really cool because like, it was this person who I kind of know at the company. I'm third shift, so not many people know me. And it was kind of nice to just get, get to to really feel like someone at the company got to know me a bit better. And as I was uh, thinking about the questions I was going to be asked and as I was doing uh, that kind of stuff, I realized this is a, an opportunity for a vlog. I could get a camera and I could set it up and I could record her. She actually asked her if she was okay with being recorded. And I could just have, it took about an hour so I wouldn't do the entire thing, but I'd have the important questions just cut back and forth. It'd be a great, it'd be probably a visually cool idea. Um, it'd look really good on video and, you know, it'd be a good way to serve as a, sort of introduction to who I am, which I know a lot of me is not known yet and will be divulged over time. So um, I was really excited to do that. And I got home, took a shower, went to lay down because I go to bed after I get off work. And I came back at three. But, um, and right as I woke up, I realized, Brian, you don't have a second camera and you can only do selfie shots with your cell phone. That's not going to be possible, like impossible at all. Like, you, you're not going to be able to do it, which was unfortunate. But it got me thinking, I work in a medium, writing, where if I missed out on an opportunity to write, I can come back later. Pink cow. I can come back later and continue writing. The opportunity has not been missed. Now, writing has a few opportunities that can be missed, like contests or subscrip you know, subscription-based things, or uh, if you work for a magazine, you have deadlines to meet. But in general, writing as a medium, you don't have a lot of missed opportunities for the actual writing itself. Now, career-based things around it, yeah, you can have a lot of missed opportunities, but for the actual writing itself, you don't have a lot of missed opportunities. And this made me realize that there are some opportunities that you will see coming, but you know you will miss before they even, before they even come to you. They'll just go right past you. You'll see them coming and right past, which is unfortunate. Um, and this vlog was one of them because I really wanted to do this and I, I should have noticed, hey, Brian, you don't have another camera. How are you going to do this? Oh, right. I'm not going to take this person who is currently at their work. It, the interview already takes an hour and to do that with one camera would have taken like twice that length. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to cost her uh, productive time at her job. She, she, you know, she volunteers to do this and stuff and I don't want to eat into her work time to get this done. She's already nice enough to do it. And, you know, the company, it's a, it's a company thing so that she doesn't get paid for it. But, you know, I don't want to make her have even more work just to help me with a project that is optional, uh, especially considering how inconvenient it would be. It, it's probably take more than two hours. It'd probably take two or three hours because I'd have to stop, record, check the take, and all that stuff. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it. Plus, I only can wear headphones, which is not fun. So yeah, but it, it got me thinking just about opportunities that you can miss and how they feel like. Like I was so let down. I'm like, oh, I can't do this. I was really excited. My first like creative vlog, not just a held camera talking thing. And I was really, really excited to do it. And yeah, it just kind of got me feeling down. But I realized that sometimes a lot of good can come from it. Now, in this case, there's not really any good or bad coming from missing it. I just didn't get the video done. Oh no, whatever. You, you missed out on something that w wouldn't have changed. Like the video would still go up today, just be a different format. Um, so there really wasn't a lot of bad here. Kick the chair. There really wasn't a lot of bad to be missed out on here. But there are sometimes good things that come from opportunities that are missed. Like... One, a lot of the good that I have, like this apartment, this lifestyle I have now, comes from the biggest, singularly biggest missed opportunity in my life. I was devastated when I lost it because I was actually actively involved in it. I was, I was midway through the process and uh, it fell apart, quite literally fell apart around me. And I suddenly found myself without a job, without a place to live. And I was just, yeah, I was homeless for a little bit, for quite a bit, actually. I was living with friends, but I didn't have a stable place. I was just kind of bouncing from, you know, I was, I, I was legally homeless, even if I had a home to come home to. So that was, that was nice. That was, that was nice to my friends. My friends are amazing um, in that regard. But, um, yeah. So, um, you know, other things like vlogs, photography, sometimes you, you get only a certain amount of time to get the shot. Filmmaking, definitely plenty of missed opportunities there. Like, what if I did the shot differently? What if I did from a high angle versus a low angle? What if I use different lighting effects? What if I use a different take of the script? You know, lots of missed opportunities in film. 
but the weird ones are the ones that you see coming and you know you're gonna miss. This jump cut comes to you from technical difficulties, the camera, the frame rate froze. Uh, obviously I couldn't have written a story about this vlog, but, um, cause you know, uh, I could have written the story about filming an interview I actually did. That would have been such a compelling story. But instead I decided to vlog about it. I decided to vlog about the missed opportunity for a vlog. Um, so I think that in the end, we should, we should try to see the good from the missed opportunities. We should try and make the missed opportunities into different opportunities. I, I can't imagine that's applicable to every situation. You, you can't, always, um, can't always make that a possibility. But if it is, you should try. Um, I don't really have a lot more to say. I haven't gotten a lot of writing done because I'm finally caught up on laundry. That's Amiibos that I got to put up on that shelf over there. I didn't recently move in. I just recently rearranged the whole place and I just haven't really set it back in place. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't really have a lot more to go with. Uh, what about some opportunities you've missed and what, what, what inspiration did you take from them or did you not at all? Or what inspiration could you take from them? I'm curious, guys. Hope your weekend's good. Mine's going to be hectic, but worth it in the end. I believe in you guys.